what it's all about right here. The fresh air, the scenery, the freedom. We still have a ways to go. There's a lot of activity out where we're going. I've seen them out here before. <laughs> well, I've, I've heard them. Look, look right there. Oh my God, this is exciting. I've never seen rubs this close to civilization before. Come here, come here. Oh, oh my God. Yes, are you getting this? Are you getting this closer? Are you getting a close up? Closer, closer. Oh, this is a, uh, this is exciting. This is a, uh, I've never seen a rub this close to civilization. This is probably an adolescent uh, male. It looks like he left some hair behind as well. Oh, they can't be far. I'm sure we're gonna catch one on camera this time. My name is Lawrence Plunkett. I'm a cryptozoologist. The University of Florida has advocated my research, contributed funds, and are the primary supporters of this film. The Dattle Pepper, a sweet, spicy, and succulent pepper, was brought to St. Augustine, Florida, by the Spanish settlers and their Menorcan indentured servants. This was over 350 years ago. You see, the spice of this pepper has tantalized the lips of a monstrous creature for ages, which is how it got its name, the Dattle Diablo, or Dattle Devil in English. The residents of Spain's newest colony, La Florida, wanted to rid the pepper of its stigma and its pesky destroyer. I believe that's why they moved the pepper here, to La Florida. The Dattle Diablo's origins are unclear. Some scholars assert that the devil migrated from Chile, while others maintain the claim of Africa as the creature's birthplace. Here's the campsite. Let's set up the tents. I remember the first time I came here to St. Augustine. My parents, who loved playing tourists, insisted we stop on the way to Disney. And just as my father was intrigued by all of the military history, he was especially curious about the devil. Devil. So when we went to a local cafe called Hot Shot for chocolate-covered daddles, we learned they were fresh out. Much to our surprise and dismay, this devil, this rabid pest, had eaten all the peppers a day before harvest. It is my destiny discover this mysterious beast and I will stop at nothing. Good morning. Namaste. My name is Sabrina Locke and I'm a yoga instructor, Ayurvedic healer, and Reiki master living and practicing in beautiful St. Augustine, Florida. I love to come here every morning for this practice. It is my home and my sacred space. It is the place where I align my chakras and access the divine light within. Well, on the morning it happened, um, I was outside meditating very early, like just after sunrise, and I heard this sound, and, and it was just it was sort of like... I really want this thing to happen for me. We're fortunate that we found funding, and we're out here in the field, but I didn't want to say anything earlier. We got a phone call from UF telling us to come home. They wouldn't give a reason over the phone, but I know the budget's been cut. Fortunately, we still have financial backing from St. Augustine University and Travis Votek in Polk County. I'm on my own time now. I mean, I'm out here in the field. I've got responsibilities with the crew. I'm just not gonna tell them anything yet. Once we get video of this thing, all of their worries are going to go away. What was that? I heard a noise over there, in the bushes. Well, uh, I guess it's about two years ago now. Anyway, me and my brother Troy, that's him. We were in our other brother Daryl's boat. We, over here by Lighthouse. 
uh, but but kind of further up on the point there. And uh, you know, fishing, doing what we do, drinking beer, having a good old time. And uh, it's getting dark, so we figured we better go ahead and make camp. So we, we head on inland, and Troy started making camp, and I started cleaning out some fish we caught on the table we made. Anyway, as we sat down to dinner, uh, <laughs> we noticed his uh, uh, doc, Dr. Daddle pepper sauce was missing. Now, you don't mess with a man's hot sauce, but you especially don't get between Troy and his daddle sauce. Boy, he was pissed. We had our rifles with us, so, and everybody done heard of the Dow Devil, everybody. Um, so we went looking for it. I was meant to do this. I can't think of anything else to do. This Dow Devil's always one step ahead of me, but I'm getting closer. I can feel it. I can smell it in the air. And when I do, all those who abandon me are gonna come back. Excuse me. I gotta take this, shut it off. Shut it off, I gotta take this. Got in a boat, and uh, just started moving kinda up the coast there, with a spotlight, trying to just, just see what's out there. And uh, we've seen it. I mean, it looked right at us. You know how, you know how when you catch something in a beam and, and, and the eyes are looking at you, they glow? Well, that's what happened, but the beam wasn't right on anyway, so I got the beam on it, and uh, it already took off, but we saw its tail. And uh, you know how lion's got like a, like a puff ball at the end of his tail? That's what it looked like. Anyway, Troy brought me in closer to shore. I jumped off, took my rifle and, my spot, and the spotlight, I jumped off in the shallows and he was gonna go on up and pick me up further up the Cape. And uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know if he was laughing or calling for me or or what. I, I heard something and then then I heard the boat rev and off it went. Found a boat a couple miles out. Never found Troy though. What do you mean Travis pulled out? I thought they were in it to win it. I thought they wanted to help me find the Daddle Diablo. This is my life's work. What are we going to do now? Please tell me St. Augustine University hasn't jumped ship. Okay. Okay, good. What the hell was that? I gotta go. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Come on. Let's go find that damn thing. In this sound, it was... It was coming from deep within, from the core of this creature. You know, it was, it was beautiful. I'm so humbled by it, the warmth of this creature, that I've even been using the sound in my practice and then also in my classes just to sort of channel the energy of this creature. Keep it with me. Live with it throughout the day. There. There. Did you get it? Did you see it? Something's in those bushes. We got it. We've got it now, gentlemen. We've got it, by golly. No, dude, I saw it too. It was a raccoon. A ra Hello? What is your job? I graduated with a PhD in cryptozoology from Washington State. Magna cum laude. Dr. Plunkett came in letting me know that I was out of daddle peppers and that he had had some in the past that I had given to him. And I have no idea who this man is. My goodness. I sell my chocolate dip daddles daily and we do run out of them but they weren't given to him. I don't know where he got that from, and I don't know if anyone else has sent off the that offers them. So I just got off the phone with my assistant, Paula, and she's informed me that we've exhausted all of our school funding. The only good news is that she managed to convince the people at Bozart Ford and Lighthouse Toyota to fund the rest of the expedition. So that'll be enough money to get me home. I refuse to accept failure. The word's not even in my vocabulary. We're steps closer to finding this devil and validating the last five years of my life. And I'll spend the next five years doing this. There is no
no Daniel Diablo, and I mean it. Two T's in Plunkett, just so you know. Two T's. I hate it when people get that wrong.